There are two cartons for the Smart Life bed. One carton has the headboard components and the other box has the footboard components. Leave the two cartons in the flat position. Unbox and take the top off of each box. Carefully remove the plastic covering over the bases. There are two accessory boxes inside. Box A is for the head section and box B is for the foot section. You will be able to tell the difference between the headboard and footboard piece by the split located on the top of the headboard. The footboard is one solid piece. Open footboard accessory box B. Inside box B, you will find eight two-section wooden legs. In addition, you will find bolts with washers, wing bolts with spring washers, one hex key, two U-shaped brackets, four sets of clevis and cotter pins, two connecting U-shaped bars, and two center cross braces. Open accessory box A. Inside, you will find two remotes with each having either a green or orange sticker. Each remote operates one side of the bed. You will also locate the two head motors for the bed. Like the remotes, each is identified with either a green or orange label or dot. The last motor is identified with a yellow sticker and this is for the foot. You will also have two AC power cables that connect to the SMPS or switched mode power supply. There will be two SMPSs, one each in the white boxes, and two AC ca power cables. Last, there will be six sets of clevis and cotter pins. Before you begin your bed assembly, make sure that each motor is properly identified. Cut open the long side of the boxes and align the bases so that you may slide the bases together. Find the two U-shaped connecting bars and insert them into the bed frame along the side with the U pointing towards the middle of the bed. Slide the head section of the bed onto the U-shaped connectors so that the two edges meet. Locate the four wing bolts, four spring washers, and the two silver U-shaped brackets. Place the brackets over the seam on the bed frame where you just installed the connecting bars. Attach the brackets on both sides of the bed using the wing bolts and washers. Hand tighten the bolts. Repeat this installation on the second side. Locate the two center cross braces, four bolts with washers, and four sets of clevis and cotter pins. You will also need the hex key or Allen wrench. Insert the center cross braces into the corresponding brackets on the head and foot sections. Insert a clevis pin through the bracket and the brace. Secure it with a cotter pin. Install on both ends of both braces. Insert the two bolts with washers into the pre-drilled holes on the center cross brace using the hex key or Allen wrench. Install the two bolts on the second brace as well. Locate the green head motor, as well as the six sets of clevis and cotter pins from accessory box A. Place the green head motor next to the control box with the green sticker on it. Ensure that the motor is sticker side up inside the mounting brackets. Secure the green motor in place using the clevis and cotter pins.
locate the yellow foot motor. Install the yellow foot motor into the mounting bracket with the yellow sticker. Secure the yellow motor with the clevis and cotter pins on each end. Find the coiled wire from the yellow foot motor with the pink fuchsia colored tab and a second pink fuchsia sticker on a wire coming from the green head motor. Connect the two pink fuchsia wires. Locate the yellow pin type plug coming from the green motor. It will also have a green sticker. Insert this cord into the rear of the green control box. Grab the last motor, which should be the orange head motor, along with the last two clevis and cotter pins. Place the orange motor next to the orange control box with the sticker facing up. The motor mounting bracket will also have an orange sticker. Secure the motor into the bracket using a clevis and cotter pin. Just as you did with the green motor, find the yellow pin connection coming from the orange motor that you just installed. It will have an orange sticker on the cord. Plug the yellow pin connection into the rear of the orange control box. Now you will want to locate two cords that have a brown sticker on each of them. One runs from the USB controller and the other is from the orange motor. Remove the protective sheath and connect the two brown wires. Replace the protective sheath over the connection. Find the two wires that have a white label on the cord. One of these is running from the underbed lighting box and the other from the orange motor. Connect these two cords. Remove the SMPS power supply and power cords from their packaging. Install the two-prong plug into one end of the power supply. Ensure that the cord is fully inserted into the power supply. Connect the second plug to the second power supply. Here is an image of all of the connections through the green motor and control box. And here is a shot of the connections through the orange motor and orange control box. The Smart Life base comes with eight wooden adjustable height legs. Each leg can be stacked as shown or separated into smaller legs depending on the height desired. The video will show how to install the legs with the optional side rail package. If the customer did not purchase the optional side rail package, simply install the legs onto the frame in the same locations, just without the side rail hanger bracket underneath. Install the wooden legs onto one corner of the bed. Hand tighten the leg if you are not installing the optional side rails. If you will be installing the side rails, don't tighten down the legs so that the hanger bracket can move in and out. Continue to install the legs along the edge of the bed. There are two center leg grommets in the middle of the footboard section. Here is a shot of all the legs in their designated slots. Make sure that two people assist in turning the bed over to avoid too much side pressure on the wooden legs and more importantly, to avoid injury. The bed is very heavy. Insert the enclosed batteries into each remote. Test the functions of the remotes to ensure that the bed operates properly. Put the bed in the upright position for both the head and foot 
in order to install the optional side rails. Make sure that the legs are loose enough to allow the hanger bracket to move freely. Beginning on one of the sides, hang the side rail onto the metal hangers and press down so that it is firmly seated. Do not tighten the legs until all four sides are attached on the bed. Install the second rail in the same way as the first. The headboard and footboard rails install similarly, except that you have a set of hooks on each end of the rail. It is easier to line everything up if you insert the hanger bracket onto the footboard first, then bolt the bracket to the frame with the enclosed bolts. The headboard side rail hangs on the side pins. If your customer is using a headboard on their bed, instead of the headboard rail, you will use the headboard brackets instead. There are instructions on how to install the headboard brackets in the owner's manual. Tighten all of the legs to lock everything in place. Last, insert the mattress retaining bar. Please give the owner's manual to the customer and point out the sticker on the front, which contains their serial number. They will need this number in order to receive service should they have a problem in the future.